Hey guys, welcome to the Laravel for Beginners 2020 tutorials and this is the third part and we are covering up some basic stuff which you should know while working on a web application so or any application like or an Android app or any of the apps so this is some basic stuff which all developers do or need to know so one of them is github that uh, you must have your project hosted on a website you need something to manage it so this is some uh, kind of place where you can keep your project and uh, you can say that you can keep versioning it and you can keep updating it and you don't need to do all that complex stuff and don't need to copy paste every time like some bad developers do to manage the code so this is something where it gives you flexibility to not to worry about your code code version management so something not exactly code version but yeah it helps out so this is something uh, you can say github is a development platform inspired by way you work so that that's what i said like this this helps you to work on your own way with your own versioning system so this is uh, needed and you need to sign up with it so you can go to this link github.com and uh, you can sign up it's pretty simple you can just uh, add your username my, my username is laravel man and uh, you can write an email password and you can just sign up for it so after signing up uh, all you need to do is if you have a uh, Windows then this is uh, something you have to download for Windows and if you have Mac OS then you can go and download it from Mac it will automatically download it so this is something uh, which I use and if you prefer using the, the command line then you can but this is a more proper not proper but easier way to manage stuff when you are just beginning something to code so you can click on download it will be of some 88 MBs and uh, once the download gets complete you can install it by some quick steps so that is all about downloading github and creating an account on github so now I'll, I'll uh, show you uh, that the project which we have created in the previous lecture which was I think so which was uh, which was named blog I think yeah so what you have to do is like when whenever you will uh, log into this uh, github desktop when you will open it so you will find these these type of things I'm, I'm already signed in but I'll show you you have to go to file then options then you can see here my account is already linked so I'll show you uh, from the beginning so you will you will see something like this you have to click on sign in and it will uh, ask for your email password if you remember then write it down here directly or if you are already logged in which I am not but like I have already saved my credentials on my Chrome so it will automatically pop up that you have been logged in and uh, you can open your github desktop so now I'm logged in again as you can see I have already uh, added my some of the repositories which I'm working on I'll show you to add uh, that new repository which we have created so you have to go to add add an existing repository but remember you haven't initiated kit yet so we will just go to our pretty good command prompt You'll go to Sam. We have H Docs, and we will go to our blog app. So what you have to do is just you have to do Git in it. Okay, it will initiate a Git repository. But before this, if you haven't installed Git, which may be possible, you have to go to get sorry get download it is pretty simple just go to get downloads 
I will also mention this link in the description so it's okay if you don't find it you can download it for Windows, Mac and Linux so it's okay so just download it and uh, follow the steps which I have shown you you have to do git in it otherwise it won't be detected as a git repository in the github desktop so as I have said go to add existing repository it will tell you to choose the path as you can see I am already uh, so this is blog ok so you have to select this folder and it will automatically detect it otherwise it will give an error if you haven't initialized the git so add repository now it is added in your local git desktop so now what we have to do is to publish repository so there are two ways you can keep it uh, or you can keep this code private or public so what private code is when you can only log in and see the code and the repo and no one else would be and the public is that you can share your link of repository to others and you can like something like open source is a public repository so I'll prefer you to keep your code private if you are click on publish repository so it is now syncing up your github with your current repository so why it's okay okay you will write initial commit commit to master and you can see that the branch is getting published I don't know what error was that but somehow it managed to publish it so now we will go to our github and I'll show you we are already logged in so you can see uh, this is in my list of repositories now and our project is live and it shows that we are using laravel and it but, uh, by default takes the readme file of laravel project so this is what it is uh, you can also do this stuff by yourself and if you f if you find any difficulty doing it then please please tell me I will, i'll help you yeah so don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have liked the video we will get back to next video soon